The hill that you see rising in the background is the Palatine Hill. And it was atop the Palatine that since the time of Augustus, there was a palace complex that was the official residence of the Emperor of the Roman Empire. And it was in the Palatine Palace complex that the decisions were made that affected the fortunes of the Roman Empire. But before the Empire, there was the Republic. And before the Republic, Rome was ruled by kings. And during the time of the Republic, and when Rome was ruled by kings, the decisions that affected the fortunes of the Roman state were made not atop the Palatine, but down below in the Roman Forum. It was in the Roman Forum that Rome's assemblies and senate met, and some of the most famous trials of Roman history took place in the Roman Forum. In the Roman Forum, decisions were made to send the legions of Rome off to war, and through the Roman Forum, Rome's victorious generals paraded in triumph. But the Roman Forum was not only a political center, it was a religious center as well. Some of Rome's earliest and most venerable temples were located in the Roman Forum. The Temple of Saturn, the Temple of the Dioscuri, and the Temple of Vesta, and of course the Convent of Vestal Virgins. But the Roman Forum was also a place of commerce. Butchers and merchants, fishmongers and spice vendors, and the money changers had their stalls in the Roman Forum. And before the construction of the Colosseum, gladiatorial games were often held in the Roman Forum balconies being erected atop the shops for the spectators, as you see in these two terracotta reliefs from Rome of the first century BC. The gladiatorial games are being held down below, and on top of the shop's roofs you see the spectators. The Roman Forum, as the heart of the capital city of the Roman state, came to be overpopulated with temples, shrines, memorials, basilicas, and triumphal arches. Well, welcome to this three-part lecture series on the Roman Forum. And what exactly are we going to do in these three lectures? Well, it's easiest to say what this course is not about. It is, first of all, not a course about Roman history. We went through that in the course of the rise of Rome, where we discussed the history of the Roman Republic, and we had discussions of the apparatus of the Roman government. We continued in the decline and fall of the Roman Empire, and in that single lecture series, Who Founded Rome, we presented the archaeological and linguistic evidence that Romulus may have been an Etruscan. So we will make allusion to the events of the betrayal of Tarpeia, the Second Punic War, and the First and Second Triumvirates, but we're not going to go into detail in those. Neither is this a class in classical architecture that we covered in Greek and Roman art and archaeology, and remember in your notes there's a glossary with artistic and architectural terms that will be used in this lecture. And neither is this course a history of the city of Rome. We covered that in Rome, History of the City, where we talked a little bit about the monuments of the Roman Forum, and in individual lectures like the Colosseum and the Pantheon. What this course is about is, first of all, a discussion of the topography of the area around the Roman Forum. Secondly, a history of the events that took place in the Roman Forum itself. Again, we will make reference to events of Roman history, but we are not going to stop and explain those events again. Those you could look up in the notes on the rise of Rome, the decline and fall of the Roman Empire. And in the last two lectures, we're going to take a look in detail at the extant ruins of the Roman Forum. Thank you.